Hi everyone. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, we're going to play Old Atlas now, or Alec, I don't really know how you say his name, who's representing Finland today in the World Cup. So he's going first. 5 2 looks okay here. Um, I'm going to open Border Village Ambassador Lighthouse. <laughs> So the that actually looks like a pretty decent opening to me. Farmland is the eleventh card. Young Witch is in the black market somewhere. You want to use Ambassador to get thin here, and then probably procession some stuff. Let's look at the black market. Um. So there's okay things. Probably the, like the discard attacks, like a ghost ship would be nice. Trashing's not. Really the attacks aren't such a big deal because you can get constant protection with Lighthouse. So really it's the things that aren't attacks that are probably more important in here. Um, it actually doesn't look that relevant to me. I think you can get most of what you need from the board. And we guess we're playing with shelters, so... That makes maybe the develop a little more useful, or the or the junk dealer. But in any case, you still want to get rid of your coppers. So that means uh, ambassador opening. So he opens, so I guess he's saving his token, um, which it probably makes sense. I mean, he can't get to six, so. Here, I'm not sure if the second ambassador is right. I'm thinking about a black market actually. So my ambassador may miss the shuffle, but I got to block his, so I'm not growing. My deck isn't getting too big. He'll probably get a lighthouse, yeah. Alright, so the ambassador misses, but that's. That's okay. So I'm thinking about one of these three or possibly just a second ambassador because I'm a little worried about falling behind. Did he play a light? Yeah, he played a lighthouse, so he's protected. <clears throat> I'm I'm really losing the this deck size thing right now, which will probably end up being a big deal. All the same, I would prefer not to have a million lighthouses. I'm not at all sure about that baker. Hopefully he doesn't draw an ambassador, but if he does, I might be screwed. Okay, so I'm looking okay here. Or a little better. I 
can pull a junk dealer, say. Um, yeah. The hard thing is that uh, Baker doesn't help you with the... Um, <clears throat> black market in any way. My ambassador has been avoiding shuffles. <laughs> it has been missing a lot of shuffles. I'm not in love with just the massive bakers, but so here I could either get Border Village something border village caravan or it can get yeah, that sounds a lot better than like farming village ambassador I guess I'd either probably do border village well border village is better because there's farmland on the on the board so the the advantage is to getting a or a farming village there are somewhat less um, I'm still not thin he is he just has these bakers though which don't scare me that much but if he's far enough ahead he can just kind of cruise I'm a little surprised he's not taking border villages. They are nice farmland targets. Um, I I think massive bakers are like people do that sometimes. I think they're not really great. Um, but he probably will be just fine. Oh, that's funny. So the lighthouse, he didn't play an ambassador, but the lighthouse wouldn't have even protected me because I trashed it with the procession, <laughs> which I didn't actually remember is how it works. That's pretty funny. He's just stockpiling these guys. <laughs> he loves bakers, I guess. At some point you can ambassador, um, or you can buy a farmland trashing a hovel, and you can upgrade your... Uh, whatever it is, your overgrown estate, you can get rid of your <laughs> shelters that way. <clears throat> None of those look very good. Um... I don't know how many of these bakers he's going to buy. A thousand of them, I guess. 
he, you have to add like a gold because otherwise um, I think you run out of coin tokens pretty quickly yeah well at least he bought the gold I could add a witch. It's not going to probably curse him, but I could add a witch. Just for the draw. And it's a decent procession target, just because it's a five. But then I don't get to play. Well, I would play one ambassador and get rid of one. Let's just put these back. expect him to buy a province this turn. But he can probably take his sweet time either way. Uh, okay. This continues to be somewhat depressing. can't seem to find my processions. My only hope is that at some point he whiffs lighthouses repeatedly and I like suddenly hit him with a bunch of attacks. Otherwise I'm completely screwed. And at this point it's looking like that one. So I draw this ambassador with all of these, which is really annoying. I don't know if I just don't have any processions. Yeah, this is over. Well, I've got, do I have a caravan? Okay, I'll wait one more turn. <laughs> I, yeah, this is odd to me. I'm, I'm certain I misplayed it, though um, I think maybe just the early black market was that bad. I mean, this is fine what he's doing, but it's not like the most, uh, it's not really the most exciting thing ever. Do I have two black, maybe that's the issue.
yeah, I think I will resign. Um, I just, my deck was never thin, so probably second ambassador before the second or the first black market. I mean, he is, I would say, considerably overbuilt because you don't need to have this many bakers. Uh, but it's not obviously that awful of a thing because he's crushing me. He doesn't have any pearl divers. Um, maybe I can st steal his golds. Steal his gold and his silver. But not, I can't steal these 11 things. Uh, let's get the young witch, it's exciting. Okay, I'll quit now. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it was funny at least. So, that's one for Finland. Sorry, America. I've betrayed you. There were like a million people in Lighthouse or Outpost, and now there are fewer. Yeah, that was, uh. This didn't quite. I, I think somehow. Well, my ambassador missing the shuffle is not a small thing, but. Nonetheless, we're on to the next one. And we're looking for villages in the black market just off the board. Just looking at the board and there's one, two, three, four. But they're all kind of three of them are crappy villages as far as village is concerned. Um well, and then the other thing would be trashing, I guess. Look out. One, two, three. Yeah, I mean Sea Hag looks uh, pretty good. <laughs> moat, moat. Mm, yeah, I'm thinking just Sea Hag into Hagler money kind of things. Maybe he'll skip the Hag, go straight for the. The other hag, street, skip this hag, go for the hag, lure. <laughs> yeah, it's not that funny. I'll try to. Please play a moat. I think if I give him, I could just name a random number of curses. If I think I give him that many curses, I'll be okay. If this happens quite a lot, I probably won't be okay. It's not it's not the worst. Hopefully he won't block it. Oh no, he blocks it. <clears throat> if the sea hags buddy up a lot. I'll say this, they haven't missed the shuffle yet, and that that's that's worth something in my mind. I've got enough treasure that it may be worthwhile to have a smithy and not a <laughs> I 
so that the <laughs> at least my hands are uh, at least my hands have a lot of uh, my other hands have treasure. <laughs> this is this is pretty good. The uh, oh gosh, I probably want a haggler now. <clears throat> I don't know if he's bought a gold yet. I mean, oh, he has one. Yeah. The, if we can do it here, the dream here is Hagler, Sea Hag, Sea Hag. I think we can do it. So we'll just wait and see. I think, I think, I believe in the deck. It can do it. He bought a province. They're 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 aiming for it. I think it I think today's the day. Yep. They did it. Guys. They did it. <laughs> we'll just give him a curse. <laughs> oh. This is the best game of Dominion. I've never I've never enjoyed a game of Dominion more than this one. At least maybe my cartographer will reveal the two sea hags and I'll be able to discard one of them. No, no. All right. This hand. Hmm. 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 So, you may want to discard the sea hag and give yourself a better shot at hitting province actually. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. He got the block one. We'll take a, a duchy now. That was good. That was quite a bit of his money altogether. Here, I'll take a duchy and uh, maybe a smithy. This is another duchy. I mean, I feel good about my chances at this point. Really, the sea hag collisions were a blessing in disguise. All those hands that, even if the sea hags had spread out, it would have just been, uh, he'd have just moted them on the other hands. So it was really um, good luck for me. I'm pretty close to half the VP, or what'll be effectively half the VP. <laughs> I'm not really there, but he's going to have, a, I mean, a pretty difficult time hitting a province. He seemed okay to keep, since we'd like to at least buy an island. <clears throat> he may just end it. No, he's gonna stick it out for the long haul. I guess I did it to him in that other game, so he can do it here. I'm just gaining on him, though. He's not even buying the expensive stuff as often as I am. Yeah, this is this is the game. <clears throat> um, 
I can't speak for his shuffles. His shuffles may have been really bad. So I just had a lot more money than him throughout the pretty much the whole game despite opening the sea hags. So So that was an odd one. I think you well hmm. you can do like an alchemist stack or you can do just remodel fool's gold with the courtyards maybe um, that might be better. The alchemist might take a while. Militia. Uh, the alchemist stack would be able to play militia consistently. I think I'm going to try the fool's gold thing. <clears throat> Alchemist stack can play, you know, ends and get to the point where they're playing militia and horse traders, but the Fool's Gold can also play with Tactician, which counters the militia to some degree. And you can you can even hit uh 5-2 is not so bad here. You can still open the same. <clears throat> this is a good draw for me. too bad. So here we can get a couple courtyards. <clears throat> Probably take a tactician. So I guess we split the fool's golds. We could get a regular gold. That doesn't I'm just trying to play the... That was possibly stupid, because I had a... a good hand lined up anyway. Well, here I can remodel. Maybe I won't have the hand size to do that, actually. I'm not sure. I'm thinking I'll be able to remodel a courtyard into, like, a remodel or a militia. Probably militia. I'm going to play the tactician. So, remodel this into what? Silver? I'm a little over terminal, it feels like. So, it seems like I want either a militia or a silver or a remodel. Let's do this one. <clears throat> we may, mm, I don't know if we'll double province. It's 
probably not impossible though. Oh, now I'm gonna. I will double province, but I'll have to count up. That's all the fool's gold. So, what, uh, how much are fool's gold worth if you play in the second time? Four. So five is like seventeen dollars already. Wow, that's kind of nice. So four is like thirteen. <laughs> I don't really know how to play this game. So I can probably put a fool's gold back on top. Which I may be able to remodel into a regular gold. And then remodel this into a courtyard or something. I'm not real sure about that play. He's getting those, which is pretty smart, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, he gets to draw him next turn. That's pretty good. Militia seems less good on this turn. Now I want to draw my tactician. But that didn't happen. I don't know if does he have courtyards? Yeah, he does. So he can probably double province. Which seems like a reasonable thing to do. I don't actually know if I wanted to do that. It could have been stupid. Probably was stupid. As long as he doesn't draw his tactician again anytime soon, I'll be happy. Does he have a gold? Okay. Phew. Gardens maybe are worth two. Maybe. Yeah. So I have a sh well, not a great shot here. Maybe the end still. I may be able to double province next turn. <laughs> I'm certainly going to draw a lot. As long as I draw the remodel, I can. And maybe just either way. Let's bank on drawing another something. Okay, this is the win. <clears throat> and obviously first player didn't hurt me at all there. I'm not sure about the kind of fancier things we put in the decks, but they seem to work out okay, but we might have just got lucky. Okay, so two games to one, I've started two games. First players won both all games. This really looks just like which big money to me. where you at the end may just end up buying a lot of silk roads depending on how the draws all go down I don't think possession will be worth it at all 
I'm not even really feeling the cup burst, just silver, silver. Try to get a witch, then later on get bandit camps and embassies and pillages. I mean, these, these fives are all okay here, but I would prioritize witch. Uh, cut purse can can knock you down from the five two, so it it's not unreasonable to get a cut purse. I just am going to skip it. And he can't possibly play a cut purse on me yet, so I'm gonna get a witch. I wish he had played one now, cause it wouldn't have mattered. But now he'll hit me, and I'll just have a skipping turn. He didn't get to five though. My witch misses a shuffle. So I'm not, I could have ended up quite a bit ahead, but I'm just sort of a little bit ahead. Now he'll get a witch, I assume. Yeah, and since I drew that witch, I'll pick up a bandit camp now. I think gold is better than bandit camp though, if you can afford a gold. So I'm not even, I don't even know if I'll end up very far ahead in the curse split when all's done. I started first, so I'm done going first after this one. Uh, just because, so far at least, the witches have missed. Yeah, and he's uh, doing work for him now. I'll get two curses in. It's nice. Uh, I don't think I want the province yet. And so that just means a gold. This is the cup purse, you know. It hurts, but the silver is not uh, that much worse than the bandit camp. It's a little bit worse. Hopefully Drew's witch just now. He maybe takes a gold. Mm, no. He's diving right in. So he already shuffled, so I think I want an embassy. And then a gold here. I don't see anything but silver being okay for him. Now we have to think a little bit. The game may last long enough that a pillage actually works out for me, but mm, it's a long ways away. So. I'm really thinking just silver. I don't know. There may be a, a really bad shuffle coming up for me. He can start picking up blue screen and then switch to silk roads. Um, and I'll have to catch up on provinces. So I think I have an embassy in here and a witch. I have a lot of stuff. I can play the witch. Dang it, son of a gun. That's depressing. And he's still hitting provinces. I'm not like catching up with him here. Um, I'm not that far behind either, but he probably takes an estate, maybe, yeah. Seven hurts. Maybe I need to switch to the Silk Roads now. I have two provinces, two duchies, three estates. 
so the Silk Roads aren't worth. They would just be worth two. Yeah, this will be a province for him. No? Okay. Well, I have a shot still. I need him to whiff a lot more. So buying uh, whatever it's called, buying Dutch here doesn't do much for me. And if he whiffs here, I have a really, really good shot. But, whew. Okay, I may have lucked out on this one. I mean, I had better money. I was expecting to come back a little bit, but not this much. I thought he got out too far. All right, well. Worked out in the end. Well, it worked out for me in the end. Not for him. So he's going first in these last two. America has at least tied. Uh, the Knights... I don't know. There's not much to do here. Transmute Great Hall. You can get a duchy and a gold. Transmute Market Square. You can trash coppers and get transmutes and get golds. And I think I I think I almost lost to somebody one time who went for Market Square transmute, and it was uh, one of the most depressing things that's ever happened to me. Uh, so yeah, do the knights, I mean Vander's pretty good here as far as the knights go, because you get a gold. Mar Market Square Counting House, Counters Cut Purse. I mean, I'm kind of thinking I just want to play Counter and Big Money. I don't know if that gets beat up by the knights though. Well, anyway, you want a silver. And probably another silver. If you're going for knights, you'd probably take a quarry. Um, but you're just going to flip coppers a bunch. I think. Looks like we're going to play counts from Big Money Mirrors. <laughs> I don't remember. I guess he gets a venture. I don't know the last time I played just a straight council room money draw mirror. It's been a long, long time. Like, you don't. Uh, I don't know how soon you want the second council room. Not sure. He probably plays it now. I don't, I'm gonna have to wait and see how much money I have off my draw, because it might be worth it to get two things. Like, he could buy a couple ventures now, <coughs> which is okay. Or, like, gold, silver, which is maybe better. And then, uh,. Yeah, like I'm going to double gold right now. Maybe I want a second council room. You know what? Let's just get two golds. This is, we're playing the money. So now he's going to province silver.
if he uh, he's got a venture, I'm sure. If he has these draws where he gets to play two council rooms through a shuffle, he'll just crush me. I mean, he'll destroy me. Yeah, and if he has that. We're like at duchy time and I only have one province. Yeah, this is... I can't even... Well, I have to. Like, I have to play this. I mean, there's no... It's just the worst shuffle, but I'll get two... Buys out of it, I guess. And I'm totally lost here. The, uh... He'll get another one, yeah. Venture. Really? He didn't have a venture. He has to be able to buy nothing. Like, three turns in a row for me to catch him at this point. And I'm playing council rooms and drawing him stuff. Hmm. It may have been, my double golds may have been pretty bad, like just start green, because I was a little bit behind anyway. That's a that's really possible that I screwed up that part. Um, I mean, I would believe that if somebody said, you screwed that part up, I'd be like, sure. Yeah, I believe that. When I double gold, I could have, say, province silvered, and that might have been better there. Oh well, <laughs> maybe maybe knights would have beat that. I, I kind of doubt it. There was no way to like play a bunch of knights per turn. So at best you were looking at one knight a turn, and so. Chase H. <laughs> Chase H. The, the dirty Finland and their their filthy tactics, or tricky ta dirty tactics. Uh, we have these like half boards, like we were like almost engines and. Tournaments in the black market. I guess there's just so little going on here. Urchins and their minion prince. Oh boy. I mean, you almost just go for the black market because the rest of the board's so terrible. If you weren't going to go for the black market, you'd probably do scavenger big money. Smugglers or black market is nice in that it's a little bit impervious to smugglers. But I don't even know, like, do you want to trash down? What does, does Lookout do anything at all for you? With this stuff, maybe it does. Probably not, though. I'm going to open... I'm thinking Scavenger Black Market. Hey, we had perfect uh, first turn luck. We didn't have to restart. It's a miracle. There's not like a really good money strategy on the board. So you might as well, he's gonna put his black market on top. You might as well, oh man, that's a really nice draw. This is depressing. Do, do, do. You might as well, jeez. Horde is pretty nice. Holy cow. He is going to crush me. <laughs> Those are... That that sequence of events right there. <laughs> it was pretty rough. I can buy smugglers now and steal his gold, maybe. <clears throat> He 
he's probably safe to get a, a second scavenger really I can get the lone treasure map which oh gosh I miscounted I could have got a governor I'm an idiot yeah I, I I counted wrong I clicked too soon that was really awful I mean governor is one governor is still better than just anything else on this board tournament would be like I mean it wouldn't have been amazing people overrate the prizes with the one tournament I mean <clears throat> it would have been fine but it also could have just been nothing Man's pretty good with his horde. Jester's pretty good just generally. Inn is not much of anything. Province is also fine. I think I would have preferred a Jester and Expand to a gold there. I mean... It's, it's not... Uh, Have I played my gold yet? It's just not... The gesture's pretty nice here. I guess you can't gain the black market stuff, but I don't have that much black market stuff. And expand should be good with uh, the number of golds he has and the... the horde. <coughs> I'm probably not as out of it as I was describing just because there's not uh, that much going on but the uh, look at that that spoiled pay this is not great I mean, you'd love to have an expand with all those duchies and hordes, or duchies and golds in your deck. I mean, you'd be, you'd be in love with an expand. Just crazy for that expand. How do you line up tournament with province in this deck? Why would you be afraid of tournament? There's no trashing. You're just like praying that you line it up. That's not a strategy. I wish I knew what this last card was, whether it's good or bad, but I don't. So I know this is bad though. It's probably a gold. I'm having, uh, so far, good shuffles for the deck I have. Uh, no doubt about that. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I don't know. You play scavenger. You... I don't know if you want those estates, but maybe you do. You can buy a prince. I bet he has $8. He should buy a prince. Yep. Well, I mean, that's a classic noob mistake, you know, buying a province when you could have a sweet prince like that. Now, if he had an expand, he could put it on his deck and be like, yeah, I can expand stuff. I 
really know if I want to do that. You should pay better attention to your deck when you're playing these games because I have a gold somewhere. Where's the gold? I don't actually know if I even want to put the gold on. Anyway, probably I need him to buy nothing right now. That didn't happen. Do I have another spoils? Nope. But I have one of these. And again, I need him to buy absolutely nothing. Are there points in the black market? I should check that. Hey, you know what? I would take a tie, except I don't have it. <clears throat> but if he can't province next turn. I don't think the bishop is in there, but I don't think there are any other points, sources of money, or sources of VP in the black market. <clears throat> I have to play the spoils. He's going to buy the province next turn. It would have been pretty funny, though, if I had got the tie. All right, well is a good match from him. The uh I'm sorry America, I let you down. I'll try not to let you I the only match I have left in the regular part is Japan, so I don't know. It's those guys have got to be the hardest to schedule with cuz they're on the other side of the planet, but um Anyway, thanks everyone who tuned and watched, and uh, just check back. I should be playing Steph for the championship match of the league um, probably sometime this week or next weekend, so uh, tune into that. See you later.